So we gave a bunch of guys some, some days off individually and I don't know, maybe a little sluggish, but it's a Big Ten win. I'm not going to ever complain about one of those. They're important. And um, I don't know how great we wrestled. I'd have to look at it a little bit in more detail. I just think, uh, you know, we got to get these guys open. When we're wrestling uh, guys like that, individuals like that, you got to try to get them to open up a little bit more. And then the more points will, will, will occur. So I thought, you know, we didn't do a great job of that early on. After 65 and up, we did a really good job of it. So. Uh, that's just a couple things we'll take away. Again, guys that aren't really going to wrestle, you gotta you got to make them wrestle you back. And But I'm not going to apologize for a, for a Big Ten win in front of a great crowd. And, and uh, good for us. And moving forward, we'll be ready for Minnesota next week. Scott, the win by shutout, dominant fashion, I mean, mean anything? No, it just means that, you know, all ten guys you put out won, and that's that was kind of what we wanted to do. You know, you root for all of them. You coach all of them hard. And, and those first three were really, really important because they were three really good kids who did well at the scuffle. So... Those were important and will probably mean a lot, a whole heck of a lot in those Big Ten, uh, those seeding meetings and things like that. So it really was important to win those three. And, uh, but it just means all ten guys uh, won, and that that's, makes you happy, you know. When you're wrestling people that you're better than, and you talked about opening up, is it how, talk about how hard it is to get them to open up. Well, you just got to, I mean, sometimes I, I hate to say force the issue, force the action, but you got you to gotta do it. You got to create some more stuff. and. You know, create certain situations and create certain holds, and you know it's it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just it's just like anything else. A guy at the end of a match protecting a lead, we got to somehow find a way to score, and that's kind of you know. But again, I thought we rode hard, mm -hmm. and that's important in this sport, especially at this level. You know, you get a point for that. So uh, again, I'm not going to apologize for it. I just I just wish we you know you you want to see your guys score more points, but. I don't think we gave up a takedown until '97. I don't. I don't think so. I think it was two takedowns, two reversals. Okay, so, yeah. so uh, overall, I thought we did well. But again, it's just one of the biggest concerns with our staffs is the is the guys protecting lead. How are we going to score when we're down four three and the guys kind of running away protecting lead? Uh, that's kind of what I felt like tonight. We got to force the issue and get to those scores. Coach, how much of a difference do you see in the team now than at the start of the season? Oh, they're a year older. Oh, you mean at the start of the year? Yeah. Well, they're four or five months older, um, <laughs> they're better. They're, they're, most of these guys, you know, obviously Billy and Phil have been through the Big Ten, so they know what to expect, been through the Big Ten season and the grind, so they kind of know what to expect. Uh, that's probably the most, the biggest thing is, is the maturation process, process from, from all of them, really, because we've had, you know, other than Richie, I think everybody's was in the lineup last year for the most part, so, uh, that, that, but I think we wrestled really, really good first semester. And then you get into this, you kind of get into this low where you're not competing all the time. And it's just the Midlands and then 10 days and, and Michigan State and, and then 10 more days and now Minnesota. So that, that's not an excuse. But, you know, I, I think our guys are, are, need to do a better job, some of them managing their weight, you know, because you get 10 days, sometimes you blow up a little bit. So, but I think we have a mature team that has been through it and uh, they know what to expect. And, I, you know, I think if you ask them all, they're going to be excited for, for next Sunday out in Minneapolis. Billy, did you get a sense?